what's up guys welcome back once again it is me Molt. so happy to be here with you guys as always um again i haven't made a video in a little over 24 hours and i feel weird i feel like you guys don't like me anymore <laughs> um not really i know you guys like me or at least i hope you do but anyways today town hall seven guys what we are going to be doing is we um, are going to do a raid. That's right, we're gonna do a raid. <laughs> um, first I'm gonna go ahead and just fill my army camps up with archers right now. Um, oops, that's not an archer, I apologize. Um, but right now I'm upgrading one of my barracks and it's annoying because I can't fill uh, everything up, but I'm really trying to get loot right now, so I'm gonna do uh, some different kind of raids after this one. Oh yeah, and look at this: one, two, three. Uh uh, that's not all. Four. Two of them spawned in like, like yesterday. I got two more. Christmas has been over with forever. I'm surprised these things are still spawning. But um, why don't we go ahead and go on the attack? We are going to break the shield. Um, I'm going to talk to y'all for a little bit, so I'm not going to skip ahead because of this base. That is perfect. I love that. That loot is awesome. Let's check and see if there are any clan castle troops. There are not, but thankfully I did just get rid of that giant bomb. <laughs> um, why don't we go ahead and drop off our giants and drop off two wall breakers to get us in there to that air defense. There we go. And uh, why don't we drop off two wall breakers right over here? Let's drop our healer. Um, oh, come on, wall breakers. Lame. Um, let's see if we can. No, why are you going over there? There we go. That's where I want him to go. All right, take it out. No. All right, whatever. I'm being really weird right now. So we're going to slowly take our time with this giant healer strap. We're going to start working our way around. Um, all these defenses are down over here, so we're going to start working on that. Um, and our giants are going to work their way around. Um, but today, guys, besides this raid, we are going to... Shoot, I'm going to need to take out this other air defense over here. Uh, beside this raid, we are going to do a new base build. We're going to do a new farming base. Um, some of you guys have been requesting for a trophy base. I might do one eventually. I'm not really trophy pushing on... Uh, this account obviously um, because I don't really want to so um, I might do a trophy base eventually but um, for now I'm going to just do another um, another farming base because that is what I'm doing right now get out of here cannon I don't want my giants getting distracted by that cannon but they're still going to see these guys look at them these two right here are a couple of noobs because all they're doing is hitting on that corner, and they're going to turn around and go and focus on that mortar in just a second. Right? Yes. Correct. Um, let's drop down some barbarians um, as a little bit of distraction. I really want my giants to start working their way in there. Because um, I need to get in here to this elixir. All of it's right there. We only have a minute left. We're probably not going to get into it. Um... We might be able to, depends on if these archers turn around or not. Yes, and they did. Great, okay, so we should be able to get to that elixir for sure um, in the next 40 seconds or so, so that's going to be good. Um, <laughs> I'm happy I didn't have to cut away because that means less editing for me. Uh, so there we go, almost about to get it. Come on, get it down to 980. There we go, 980. And uh, they're about to run through there. Uh, I don't really care about the rest of it, so why don't we go ahead and end the battle for the sake of time. Not bad loot, especially for the first find. Um, so that is definitely, definitely, definitely good. <laughs> uh, we have a lot of gold right now that we can spend on walls, as always. Um, both of my elixir storages are maxed out now. They were not. I completely forgot about those. And you guys keep telling me to upgrade my dark elixir, so I will do that after I upgrade this last barrack so um, that'll probably be in the next episode or so uh, that we get to do that but we have upgraded both of our elixir storages we have this barrack right here upgrading should be done in two days which is going to be great um, so that we can have dragons and all of them I haven't been using dragons or anything just because I don't really feel like using that 
expensive army comp because dragons are expensive let's be honest um, I'd rather just do tier one stuff so this base is done pretty well I honestly I haven't really checked on the defense of it um, we could go in here and see obviously I'm gonna lose um, a lot of trophies but it doesn't look like I've lost that one right there by fire at was a big loss Ooh, that one was a really big loss right there hundred thousand hundred thousand um, some of them people fully attacked and didn't get that much others did like this one right here whatever um, I wasn't ever really checking that too much so why don't we go ahead and um, let's upgrade some walls real quick doesn't matter which ones we upgrade because we're about to be editing our base so um, shoot what am I gonna call this video is this gonna be Town Hall 7 base build is it going to be <laughs> Let's clash. What's it going to be? All right, so there we go. <clears throat> We're going to remove all, and we are going to get started on this new base design. I am going to be looking right here to my left um, at my Clash of Clans uh, builder. So obviously, we are going to start off with our clan castle directly in the middle of the base, um, and then we are going to uh, bring out our wizards. Are they one in? Yeah, wizard right there and then Tesla right here and wizard right there can I collect that <laughs> I can and Tesla right here as well um, and let's go ahead and make our core the strongest part of this so fill this up we definitely want to protect our wizards um, because they need protecting let's be honest you gotta protect your best your best defenses with your other defenses and with walls uh, one thing that's very important, I've said this in other videos, for some of you might not have heard this, um, but it's important for your defenses to protect your defenses. Does that make sense? So like as you um, as you design your base, because I don't, you guys can copy my bases, I really don't care, that's why I make them for y'all, uh, because it's fun, but I would also challenge you to come up with your own base designs as well because it really is a lot of fun that's why I make so many of them because I have fun doing it um, so I would definitely encourage you guys to make your own bases take what I tell you when it comes to base designs like this and implement it in your new base uh, and just learn like learn how uh, good bases are laid out what it means to have a good base what it means to have triangulated defenses and and things like that and um, and you'll get better and it'll be a lot of fun building bases uh, for you guys so definitely think about doing that um, all the the reason that I do uh, base builds really again like I was saying is a to give you all new bases that you can try out and enjoy yourself but also so that you can learn about um, base building and base design etc so that's why I do it I hope that y'all enjoy it these are some of my most popular videos but <laughs> my freaking Valkyrie video uh, the wrecking ball if you haven't seen it look it up it's my most viewed video right now it has almost 300,000 views on it uh, which is ridiculous but that's besides the point let's get back to this um, so right now as you can see I have um, I'm just kinda going around building my core so my core is the wizards you have two of them at Town Hall 7 can't wait to get three um, you have two of them at Town Hall 7 and uh, so you can't triangulate them like I might say on my Town Hall 8 or Town Hall 9 base. Um, but you can triangulate your mortars, which is good because that way you get a lot of coverage out of them. Um, and as you can see from the layout right now, we have a lot covered with our mortars. They're going to cover the entire base, which is very important. Same with our clan castle being directly in, uh, in the middle as well. Uh, it is very very important for uh, the majority of your stuff to be covered like that uh, let's bring in our air defenses as well we have two of those we want those to be somewhat centralized I don't think I've been attacked by that many um, aerial raids but um, it is still important to have air defenses centralized otherwise you're gonna run into some trouble when it comes to balloon minion or uh, whatever the heck you want to call it. Here's this glitch again. There we go. <laughs> um, so it is important to have your air defenses uh, centralized as always, or at least close enough to the center that people might think twice. If they're if they're running giant healer, which is a very popular 
composition um, at this level, I mean, I still use it. I just used it in that last video. Um, if you use Giant Healer, uh, then, or if people use Giant Healer a lot, they're going to question whether or not they want to attack you if your base is well protected against um, aerial units, which it will be, obviously, if you have your air defenses protected. Um, so we're going to bring in our cannons right here to protect our air defenses. That's right. They are going to be right there. And they are going to protect the air defense from the outside from any kind of attack that comes in there. Um, because the cannon as well as the archer are going to be able to shoot at uh, whatever troop is coming in and again protect your air defenses or like I said earlier protect your defenses with other defenses um, so <laughs> I really I just came up with this base design literally in my first try like three minutes it didn't take that long at all um, and that's because generally I have an idea of how I start off. I always start off with my clan castle in the middle and then just kind of tweak things um, from there. We're going to put our town hall right here just because I want to. You can get mad at me if you want to. I don't really care. <laughs> uh, let's go ahead and bring in some of our traps. Uh, trap and trap as well as um, spring trap, spring trap. And where do we put the other spring traps? We put them right here. Is that right? Yeah, right there and right there. Yes, that's correct. Okay. Um, and now we are going to uh, circle in our cannon right here as well. There we go. And then we have two more air defense, or two more air defenses. We have two more archer towers that we are going to put right here and right here they're going to help protect this cannon as well as these mortars um, uh, and that is important as well because mortars are very very important to defend um, so I'm, I'm defending them somewhat right here with the archers but I'm also going to be defending them uh, by doing this right here one two one two three Alright, I used extra walls somewhere where I wasn't supposed to use them, I think. Um, where did we use extra walls? Did we use extra walls? I'm pretty sure that we used extra walls because I only have one left. And our giant bomb is supposed to go right here. Okay, I did use extra walls. My bad. Remove, and then remove, select row. Bring that down. There we go. Um, and then we're going to put this other giant bomb right here. And we are going to go one out and then over as far as we can. There we go. So now those are protected. Um, and I still feel like I used an extra wall somewhere because uh, my thing over here isn't lining up. But that's fine. We can always take these out um, and put them on the outside. But somebody might be able to um, spawn there. But whatever. I think that's fine. Um, why don't we actually, I'm going to bring this wall down um, and do this so that as people come up to the, no, we're not going to do that. We're going to put that back. <laughs> I wish there was like a edit undo feature in this, but there isn't. Um, so that is right there. That is the core of the base. Um, I think that it looks pretty good. We're going to bring out our army camps and spread those out around the base um, protecting a lot of our stuff because they are big and they get in the way and they push troops back a lot so that's good uh, let's go ahead and do what I always say when it comes to putting your buildings around the outside you need to go with a collector and then a different sort of building like this that's right and then a collector and then a different sort of building and then uh, we can go ahead and bring this like right here and then we'll do another collector right here um, and then we're going to do the same on this side so we'll have elixir and then building and then gold and then building and then elixir storage yep um, and we're not gonna put any uh, we're not going to put any 
resource collectors or anything right next to the town hall because for people that are coming to get loot, uh, all that they really want is, or the people that are coming for free trophies are coming to get trophies. They're not coming for uh, my storages. So say I'm, or for my mine. So say I'm off for a little bit. I don't want people who come and attack my town hall to get free stuff from my collectors because I haven't logged on in a day or so. Um, so you have to be careful of doing that and, and putting those sorts of things um, by your town hall because then people will get free loot that they definitely don't deserve. <laughs> um, we're going to uh, make it a little bit heavier up here at the top when it comes to uh, the collectors and whatnot just because I'm running out of room around the edge. So come on, scoot over. There we go. Scoot this one down, bring this guy down, bring this right in here, there we go. We can put a barracks right up here, and then why don't we, there's no more room for anything. I'll scoot this over and I'll just bring in another gold mine right here, there we go. So somebody will get a little bit lucky with that. Um, we do have our bombs still that we can use, um, and I say we put a couple of them um, right here and a couple of them right here. I know that some of you guys are gonna say, hey Molt, with your gold, you can go ahead and upgrade your, um, where is that? Yeah, right here. Uh, you can go ahead and upgrade your bombs, and yes, that is true, but maybe I don't want to. <laughs> I don't necessarily wanna upgrade those right now, um, just because I don't want to have to pay for it every single time that, uh, that somebody comes and, and destroys them. Look at this, this is looking cool. With our town hall right there, just decorating it, having having a good time. Uh, but here's the new base. Why don't we go ahead and save our village? Yes, we are going to save. That looks really, really good. Look at the troops all running around, all those archers. Um, and yeah, this is gonna look sweet once we have all um, of our level seven walls. It's gonna look really, really good. I can't wait to max this out because I didn't max out my last town hall seven. Um, but wow, guys, we are running on 17 minutes. I hope that y'all are enjoying this. Uh, if you watch it over the weekend, I hope you're having a good weekend. I'm going out of town this weekend for Young Life. Um, if any of you guys that are in high school have heard of Young Life, let me know. Um, I'm a leader. It's really cool. If your friends do it and you don't do it, go do it. You'll have fun, I promise. Um, but anyways, that's going to be it for this episode. I really, really do hope that y'all have enjoyed. Um, Molt, the wizard is out. Um, I will see you guys later, and hey, stay with me as always, guys. Make sure you keep calm and clash on for me, all right? I'll see you guys later.